Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Madden 21. Uh, this rebuild series is going to be a little weird for me because I am a Giants fan. But I do see a ton of potential in the Washington football team. A lot of people are going to rebuild this team because it, it lacks identity and without a name, I guess. But um, they weirdly did pretty well for themselves this season. Predicted by a lot of people to be bottom of the NFC East. But Coach Ron Rivera really came in and gave this team, I guess, a jump start they really needed. They made the playoffs. They damn near beat the Buccaneers, if you all saw that game. Taylor Henneke. Uh, right now, our starting QB, because Alex Smith was injured in the uh, Buccaneers game. But he's not injured on here for some reason, but whatever. Uh, this team is very interesting. It's got a couple key pieces that I like to keep, like and Sheriff, Chase Rulia would be nice to keep. Terry McLaurin is obviously going to be our main building block. He'll be our number one receiver for years on years, because he'll probably be leading the league in receiving yards and touchdowns pretty soon. Uh, we also got a pretty deep receiving core. I mean, Steven Sims ain't bad. He's got star X fact or star uh, ability uh, out of Kansas. He's only been around for a year, so that's fine. Chris Sims on the other side, but Antonio Gandy Golden. Uh, he's 6'4", huge uh, at a Liberty. He is a little bit slower with the 86 speed, but I feel like his, his size and height is really going to uh, help this team out. Uh, at some point, most likely. I mean, hey, we could even get him some snaps at tight end. But we have Logan Thomas, who is damn near a pro bowler out of nowhere. And if you guys don't know uh, what's the weird thing with Logan Thomas, this man was a quarterback to start his NFL career. He was a backup quarterback. And I believe he played it at, yeah, Virginia Tech. I believe he did play quarterback there at Virginia Tech. Uh, this offensive line is a little weird. Uh, Lucas the third, uh, West Streister. I don't know how to say his name. Obviously, I said Chase really and Brandon Sheriff. I would like to keep around, and Morgan Moses could get moved. Uh, I think a weird position at uh, on this Washington football team is the running back position. We have four running backs who could potentially be starters. Lamar Miller is very, very old, I believe, at this point in his career. I believe he is in his 30s. He'll be in his 30s next year, so his his uh, his legs may not be churning uh, as fast as they once were. Uh, Peyton Barber, he was, he's been a, basically a career backup, I believe he's around 26 years old, yeah, he is exactly 26 years old, he's been around for four years, uh, JD McKissick, who's proved to be a pretty good backfield, uh, ball catcher this year, and, uh, of course, a Antonio Gibson, who, uh, is in the running for Offensive Rookie of the Year, this man kind of broke out this year, uh, where did he, oh, he played in Memphis, okay, yeah, but he is definitely probably going to be getting the bulk of the running back snaps. Him and McKissick. We might try and work Peyton Barber in. We might try and work other people in. We might, once again, we might lose some of these players. In free agency, we might let them walk, depending on if they are, if the contracts are up. Alex Smith is definitely a player I'm probably going to let walk. It isn't his fault in any way. It's Madden's fault. He pro he regresses so much in this game, and uh, I'd love to keep him around, but the man is 37 in his 16th year, I believe. 36 in his 15th year so basically the same thing but yeah he's definitely getting up there in age now let's take a look at the defense the front the front four and these corners are insanely good uh De'Aaron Payne Josh or I'm just call it Josh Allen Jonathan Allen Montez Sweat and Chase Young also Ryan Kerrigan but I might try and ship him off or do something with him uh, probably at some point in the series, depending on if his contract's up or not, it might be up. Uh, also, Ronald Darby and Kendall Fuller, I like a lot. Also, Fabian Moreau, I like him too. Uh, Moreland, uh, not a bad uh, fourth or, you know, slot corner every once in a while. But these uh, these linebackers and these safeties are not it. The only guy I might keep around is Carmen Curl. I like him a lot. Cole Holcomb is good. Uh, but everybody else here... Uh, Thomas Davis most likely to retire. He's actually retiring in real life. Uh, I believe this that was his last playoff game against the Buccaneers. John Bostick is a 70 overall. So I'm actually going to start Cole Holcomb and Miles Kendrick over him. We also have Ken Pierre Lewis, who's okay, and Troy Ackby, who's really nothing but a speedy safety who, you know, has played well every once in a while, but not a consistent option. Special teams, Dustin Hopkins, Tress Way. You guys should most likely know them. But that's just kind of going over the roster who we got. Uh, so let's go assess some other things. 
So by the way, just to go over what I play on, I play on All Pro Simulation. Uh, I might go up to competitive at one point or another. Depends on how easy the gameplay is in this game. Uh, some games I'll be playing the moment. Some games I'll be playing only offense. Some games I'll be playing only defense. Or some games I'll just straight up play the full game. It depends on really what I'm feeling and what I think is best for the series. I'm going to try out a couple different things with the series. I'm actually going to bump the minutes up to 7 or maybe 8 minutes at some point in the series. I'll leave it at 7. But, um... I definitely think 7 is a good building block to start off with. I also edited, edit, I did some editing to the schedule where I made the teams win who actually won in real life. So we will lose this game against the Buccaneers for the people that were wondering because the sim, you know, it, uh, they haven't updated the uh, actual you start today thing. So we weren't able to start in the divisional round. We had to start in the wild card. But yeah, look, we lost. Uh, Bracket should be Chiefs, Browns, Chiefs, Browns, Bills, Ravens, Bucks, Saints, LA, Green Bay, just like in real life. Um, what was your favorite game from this weekend? If you know you want to leave that down below, what was your favorite wild card game? Mine personally, I'd have to say was the Washington versus Buccaneers game or the Titans Ravens game. I love defensive driven games, and that's just kind of how the Titans Ravens game was uh, this weekend. It was just a really solid defensive game back and forth. And then Lamar kind of killed the narrative that he can't win playoff games. If he can if he can get to a championship game, he'll really be able to kill that narrative. But, I, you know, a lot of people hate on Lamar for no reason. But uh, back to the fake football, the franchise, Logan Thomas gets another upgrade. He's going to be a 77. I'm just going to let the computer edit him. I'll do more of the in-depth upgrades uh, throughout the season. Resigning staff. I believe everybody's resigned. We definitely want to keep Ron Rivera. His contract expires in 2023, so he should be around for this whole franchise, which is definitely what we want because he's an all time great coach, in my opinion. He did some great things with the Panthers, and he's done some great things with Washington this year in real life. So uh, let's head to the conference championship. Take a look at who won here. So it'll be Chiefs, Bills, Green Bay, Bucks. Uh, close to what I have in real life. I have the Saints beating the Bucks, And in the Super Bowl, it'll be chiefs Bucks, which would be a hell of a Super Bowl to see in real life. It'll be Brady versus Mahomes in a Super Bowl. Uh, let's see. Did we have any Pro Bowlers? We did. Wow, really? So Terry McLaurin does not get a Pro Bowl spot. Can't say I'm that surprised. There's a lot of good receivers in the NFC. Logan Thomas, though, gets his. Uh, I believe that's probably going to... Montez Sweat, that's nice. Um, anybody else? That looks about it for this team. So, two Pro Bowlers ain't bad to start out with, to be honest. Uh, that's a really solid building block with two Pro Bowlers this year. Jonathan Allen probably should have been one. Chase Young. But, you know, there's just better people at their positions. Just got some random achievement. Oh, we won Rookie of the Year. We won Rookie of the Year. I see that. Oh, yearly awards. Yearly awards. And the NFC, I guess I'll check. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Antonio Gibson wins over Justin Jefferson and DeAndre Swift. Really? Over CD Lamb? That's a little interesting. Carmen Curl! <laughs> Damn, this and Chase Young came in second. Probably, probably should have gone to Chase Young, but it's whatever. Uh, she, I wasn't Chase Young out a couple games. I'd like to say probably. Uh, wow, not bad to be honest. I mean, three guys that were top three or higher in uh, offensive rookie and defensive rookie. Uh, we get a Carmen Curl upgrade probably from him winning the award. Let's take a look at his ratings real quick. He's got 86 speed, 89 acceleration. Um, he is more of a coverage corner, even though his coverage stats are a little low. I kind of want to get him to be more of a run support guy. Just kind of make him a really balanced, uh, safety. I just called him a center earlier, I believe. But his play rec, his block shedding, his awareness, and his tackling goes up, which is great. Uh, all things you need to play safety. And so I will come back to you when the offseason starts and let you know who won the Super Bowl. Buccaneers end up winning the Super Bowl. We have to cut one player. Uh, I just need to cut Jeff Badgett. We really don't need many more wide receivers than what we got. So, re-signing players. I'm going to definitely try and re-sign Brandon Sheriff. 
I think 9.3. That should be a good enough contract. Okay, yeah, he's back. Good stuff. Uh, anybody else, like, really late back here? Kyle Allen is not our QB of the future. I'm sorry. Uh, really, I'm going to try and bring back people with star or higher dev trait. Ronald Darby's definitely a guy I want to bring back, like I said before. Really like to have him around. Okay, yep, Ronald Darby is back. Ryan Kerrigan. I'm going to let him walk. He has a 74. He's probably going to lose that star. Uh, dev trait, probably, just because of his age. And I'm going to try and get Chase Roulier back. That's a good offer. It's a done deal. Good to hear. Um, Dustin Hopkins, I kind of want to get back. He's a great kicker to have. Kinda, that should be a good offer. Good shit. So that's basically everybody back that we need. Everybody with a dev trait. Do we try and bring Taylor Henneke back? I think people watching the series probably want to see it. So Taylor Henneke, I'm gonna give him a hundred k signing bonus. I'm bringing him back for the next two years to be a backup third string wherever. Maybe even starts for us depending on you know what QB troubles we're having. But I believe that should be it, probably. I mean, Fabian Moreau ain't bad, but we could probably try and get him back in free agency. Ruben Foster potentially could be a guy, but he is 27, so uh, he's kind of reached his ceiling, per se. But Cam Sims, he's a 6'5 receiver pretty fast. I'm going to try and bring Cam Sims back. That should be a good enough deal for him. Thank God we are able to get him back. Right, so we can sim. This will be the first uh, week of free agency. Uh, next week, I'm going to go over draft scouting. Go over uh, who we're targeting in the draft because we definitely can get some people out of the draft that will really help us early and even later in the series. So, oh, man, there is a really good uh, free agency class. So I'll go over who I'm going to sign piece by piece. All right, so Jacoby Percet is really a guy I want to give a shot as a starting QB. Now, I know he did get a shot in Indianapolis, and he wasn't the greatest. He has some accuracy issues. I'd really like to see this guy work with Jordan Palmer. If you guys know Jordan Palmer, is, he's a high, he's a very, very highly rated uh, NFL QB coach. He helped out Josh Allen fix out some of his accuracy issues. I'm talking about real life, by the way. I don't think he can work out with Jordan Palmer in Madden, but that'd be cool. Uh, as you can see, he's got a huge arm, 88. We could probably get up that up to probably a 91 by the end of training camp. 85 short accuracy, 78 medium, 79 deep, uh, 79 throw on the run. So really just solid all-around QB, plus he can scramble a little bit. So I'm going to bring him in to kind of fight for that starting QB spot for the next three years. We'll hopefully have him. Other guys that I'm looking at for a QB, maybe Jameis Winston. I mean, he's rumored in real life, maybe Cap, uh, but he is a little older, I believe. Yeah, Cap's in his mid-30s, probably not Cap. Uh, running backs, I'm really not looking at. We were kind of set at that position. Same thing with wide receiver. We can maybe get a third wide receiver. Like Curtis Samuel would actually be really... He'd be a really nice slot receiver. He'd be a really nice slot receiver, actually. Let me see if I can get Curtis Samuel on this team. I think I'm kind of giving him a big offer here, but if he accepts, that'd be awesome. Uh, tight end-wise, I believe we're really set. We can actually get Mo Ali Cox as a backup. I like him a lot. He had a really big year this year at Virginia Commonwealth. I'll try and get him. 98 points, so hopefully he'll sign with us. Like, the line is kind of hard to fix in free agency. Uh, we obviously have right guard and center set, but, I mean, really, the only guy is Joe Thune, who I might try and get. We're obviously in some big contracts right now, but if we can get this team better quick, it'd be awesome. So Joe Thune is definitely a guy I want to offer. These might be some guys that are trying to trade, so I don't know. Uh, Jacoby, Curtis Samuel, Mo Ali Cox, and Joe Thune rejects. So I try, I'm, by the way, I'm trying to keep this, uh, more realistic. That's why I didn't go for, like, the top, top guys. That's why I didn't go for, like, Chris Godwin and, you know, some of the top guys in the free agency class. Like, I feel like these are some guys Washington might go after. You know what I mean? So, I, I mean, if you guys think I should go for the top guys, I'm trying to keep this somewhat realistic, uh, to the point of, like, me not having... You know, 90 overall offensive linemen's right off rip. But, um, you know, just trading second and first round picks away. Just making an OPS team. But um, we have some, we have a couple running backs coming off injuries. Jonathan Williams and I believe this is Bryce Love. Yep. Uh, I like Bryce Love a lot, actually. 
He's a very good speed back. He'll probably be our third back. Payne Barbo will be more of a passing back. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we don't even have a fullback right now. But it's not the biggest deal in the world to me. So, Taylor Henneke and Jacoby will really be probably our quarterbacks this year. With uh, Steven Sims and Curtis Samuel. Also, Chris Sims... This wide receiver core, I really like, by the way. This adding on of Curtis Samuel, if they did this in real life, I feel like this offense could be so potent. Uh, the left side of the line is just terrible, though. Like, Lucas the third and Shyster, just not guys I want to keep around. Also, Morgan Moses, like I said, might get moved uh, defensively. Uh, in the draft, what do we want to go for? Let's assess this. To be honest, Micah Parsons would be amazing to get. And in the second round, I'm really looking at Javon Holland. Uh, I'll go over that in a second. This draft class is Bengals draft class. It is the highest rated and highest downloaded draft class on Madden 21 Next Gen. Uh, if you guys don't know who Bengals is, he's, a, he's also a Madden franchise YouTuber. I suggest go check him out. He's, you know, he makes very high quality videos. So, like I said, in the draft, what are we looking at? So... Uh, if you guys see well, might be a guy we look at. I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to say that name. I'm gonna be honest. Micah Parsons, definitely a guy we're looking at coming off the edge. That'd be awesome. Gregory or so, like I would look at him as an option. And I've heard some rumors that Washington might be looking at him too, but I really just think he's probably better fitting on another team. Our front four is already so strong, uh, already. Uh, Patrick Sertan, maybe? He does look really good. So, potentially, Kyle Pitts, really not a guy we need when Logan Thomas is on the come-up like this. Wide receiver-wise, we are pretty deep at wide receiver. I think we're good there. Uh, maybe a running back late round, like Javante Williams. I really like Javante Williams at NC, so maybe he could potentially be good. Uh, late round wide receivers, Sage Surratt, maybe? At a wake? I do like Daz Newsome in real life. Alright, I do like Daz Newsome in real life. So we'll definitely look at him is if he is potentially on the board. He's a good big play receiver. Also, uh Jesus with the hard offensive line names. Elijah Vere Tucker, I believe is how you say this. Um listen, I know most of the names of the draft class, most of the skill positions. I do not know the offensive line names. So I'm sorry if I butchered uh, the left tackle or the Oregon's name, but I know basically everybody else in this draft class, even though I sound like a complete idiot when I'm talking about them. For you guys that don't know, I am a Notre Dame fan, so Jeremiah Owosu Koromoa might be a guy we look at. Uh, this draft class is just full of, like, talent, like, to the top, to the bottom. And also a guy I said I was looking at is Javon Holland to try and fill probably our strong safety spot because Cameron Crow, you know, just won defense rookie of the year. I'm not trying to replace him immediately. So, really, I believe that's it going into this. Uh, Patty Fisher, I like in a Northwestern. Uh, he's got high hit power, so that's good. Uh, let's just head into the next week and see what we can do. Actually, I'm going to check out free agency one more time, try and get some backups, uh, got, try and get some depth going. So, uh, I'll come back to you if I see anybody I'm looking at. All right, so now that we in... Oh, wow, we actually got Cam Robinson. Wow, we got everybody. Let's go. By the way, Taysom Hill. Uh, I think you guys know what I'm going to do with Taysom Hill. He's a really fun player to have in the franchise. We're going to play him all over the field. Running back, tight end, wide receiver, QB. That is going to be such a fun player to have. Thank God he's on with us. Uh, back to draft scouting. So who are we going to take a look at now? I think QBs could be potentially uh, Desmond Ritter. He had a good season at Cincinnati. Could be potentially a guy. KJ Costello out of Mississippi State. Not doing well, huh? Sam Ellinger, maybe? Wow. Not good either. Interesting. Uh, just really, this is last minute scouting, really. I see some late round corners, maybe? Sante Samuel Jr. I really like. I think the Giants should pick him. I am a Giants fan, by the way. I know that I'm doing the Washington franchise as a Giants fan. Uh, I know, it's blasphemy, but I really do think this team has a lot of potential, so that's why I'm using them. Heading into the next week, we got one last week of scouting before the draft. Actually, I think you can scout the week of the draft, but I think that's it. So, um, 
Wyatt Davis, maybe. If he's there, I'll pick him. Uh, Sam, Cos Sam Cosme out of Texas. Uh, JC Horn, I like a lot. He's a good slot corner. Dylan Moses. Oh my god, I love Dylan Moses. Dylan Mo Moses. If everybody's off the board, Dylan Moses is still there at our pick. Dylan Moses is definitely there. I can see us drafting. So, is this it? Alright, here we go. For agency recap, I will go over real quick. League signings. Chris Godwin is a Raven. That's a really good pickup. Bengals, Levante David. Wow, Chris Carson, a Patriot. Bengals get Shaquille. Lions get Will Fuller. Marlon Mack get the Dol Dolphins get Marlon Mack, not the other way around. Uh, Melvin Ingram goes to the Colts. Kenny Galladay is a Patriot. JC Jackson, a Giant. I wish that happened in real life. Uh, Rob Gronkowski is a Bengal. Marcus May is a Jet. Uh, Joe Thune decides to sign with the Panthers instead of us, which, you know, is all right. And you can obviously see the rest of these. Corey Davis, a Buccaneer. Trey Hendricks, a Cardinal. <sighs> it is draft day. Let's get into the draft and uh, get ready to select the player that could potentially affect our franchise for the next couple of years. All right, so it is our pick. Let's see who's on the board. J.C. Horn and Dylan Moses are still here. Guys, we scouted. Those are the only two first-rounders left. Dylan Moses out of Alabama. Damn it. It's kind of a miss, but I could see him definitely going up in dev trade. He's a really good linebacker. Just based on, he's just going to develop a little slower than most, but I really like him a lot. I know he was... Actually, he's only 26 in true talent. We drafted him 19, so we did reach a little bit, but... I think we did solid for uh, a middle linebacker. Uh, Jay Tuffle gets selected by the Bears. The guys we scouted. Damn, man. Really wanted Javon Hollins, but he is not available anymore. So we might have to go with a guy we did not look at. Quincy Roche, I actually like out of Miami. Be a risk, but I'm going Quincy Roche. Okay, he's got hidden. That's actually good. We get Quincy, Quincy Roche out of uh, the U, I believe is how you say it, not Roche, but if it's Roche, let me know. Uh, Tradell Slayton, drafted by the Giants, awesome. Uh, here's where I think we could take Javante Williams. I don't know who we really scouted in third round, not many people. Alright, so uh, Desmond Ritter, Javante Williams. I think we're set at qu quarterback. Uh, I really like Jacoby Brissett, and I really think that... Desmond Ritter isn't going to bring much more than what Jacoby Brissett is bringing to the team. So I'm going to take Javante Williams. 69, not terrible. His stats ain't bad, so we'll try and get him a dev trait, hopefully, this season. I really, well, once again, I really like what he did at NC, so if he can help do that for us, that'd be awesome. I don't really want to reach on Asante, but I also don't want to let him leave the... Well, I'm going to take Asante now. Normal development, that ain't bad for, like, the third round of weed. Yeah, we're in third round. About to be in the fourth. We're basically in the fourth because it's the 20th pick of the third. All right, scouted. Let's see. So, Daz knew some and Patty Fisher still here. Patty Fisher ain't expected to go to six, so I'm going to go Daz Newsome. 68 ain't bad, especially for this point in the draft. Daz Newsome has 91 speed, 90 acceleration. Not great at catching which is interesting, because I definitely saw him maw some people, but he is a good in open field, so could potentially be a, turn, a return guy, Daz Newsom. I could see that. He is, a, he, is a, he is a star player at NC, so he definitely should be good for us. Ooh, I really like Cordarius Tooney out of uh, Florida. Cordarius Tooney is really good. He's just sitting there, too. A Patty Fisher. Is Patty Fisher off the board? Wow, he is off the board. So I guess we'll go Cordero's Tooney here. Wow, we get a hidden talent at this point in the draft. That is amazing. The speedster Cordero's Tony out of um, out of Florida. So really good slot receiver. Probably going to be a return man. Probably He's probably going to return uh, punts or kicks. And then, you know, uh, Daz Newsom will probably take the other side of the coin or whatever is open. And Tariq. Castro Fields is here. That we did scouts. So 65. We didn't draft below a 65 the whole draft. We didn't get any bust really. We got guys that uh, really did uh, were good for their time. So 
this point in the draft, what are we going to try and take? Because I did not scout this late in the draft. Uh, hmm. Tom Baldwin. I might just go. Uh, I'll let you know after. I'll go over everybody we signed after the draft. So I'm just going to end it here. I'm going to pick probably a backup lineman. And I'll see you after the draft. All right, so taking a look at the draft to recap, we got Dylan Moses, Quincy Roche, uh, Javante Williams, Asante Samuel Jr., Daz Newsom, Cordarius Tooney, uh, Tarek Castro, Fields, and uh, Chester McCoy. was just a backup. He ended up being a 58, so probably not going to be great in the NFL. But the rest of the players we did get are solid. Very, very, very solid. Uh, Cordarius Tooney, definitely a steal late round there. Uh, anything else? Oh, we got to go over the roster real quick. So who is going to be starting for me? We're really going to decide in the preseason. That's really what's going to happen. We have four QBs. Probably going to start one new each game just to see what each can bring to the team. Uh, this first game, I think I'm going to start Taylor Henneke. Why not? Um, I think he could potentially be our starter this year. So we have six running backs. Wow, I didn't know we had this many, so probably going to have to get rid of either Bryce Love or Jonathan Williams. Probably. Maybe even Peyton Barber. Wolbeck, we did sign Seathan Carter. I don't know if you all saw that, but the wide receiving core also very, very deep. Uh, probably going to have to get rid of these bottom guys like Emmanuel Hall, Isaiah Wright, and Trevor Davis, most likely. Or just one or two of them. Uh, Logan Thomas, Molly Cox, Thaddeus Moss. Cam Robinson, we did sign out of free agency, as I said earlier. Uh, Sadiq Charles, probably going to get replaced at some point. Chase Roulier, Brandon Sheriff, Morgan Moses, all going to be definite starters as long as nothing happens in the preseason. Chase Young, obviously, did get a superstar X-Factor in the offseason, which is amazing. Uh, we do get Matthew Ioannidis back at some point, a guy I'm going to look at trading. Also, Tim Settle most likely will be traded, just because they're guys that are pretty high overall and have high potential. I'm just keeping them down by being backups. Quincy Roche, I don't know if he'll be a captain, but he definitely will be a starting left outside linebacker along with Anthony Walker Jr., Cole Holcomb, and Dylan Moses. They'll all get playing time, I promise. Uh, because I want y'all, I want y'all to help me choose who's going to be starters at these positions, who y'all like. So uh, Hudson will probably not be a right outside linebacker. We'll probably move somebody to the right outside just to see what's going on there. Once again, we have pretty. A pretty deep corner depth chart, but I definitely think Jimmy Moreland, Ronald Darby, Kendall Fuller, and uh, Asante Samuel Jr. will be our main corners with, you know, Terry Castro Fields, uh, Greg Stroman, and Jordan Brown getting worked in every once in a while. Troy Akpe is still our starting free safety. Definitely not ideal, but it's fine. We can always move Cameron Curl over to free safety because he actually isn't bad at coverages. So we might just keep Landon Collins at strong safety because he is probably going to be coming off of injury soon. So, first week of the preseason, we will be going against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Very interesting. Bryce Love, Sadiq Charles, and Thaddeus Moss all come off of injury for the first week of preseason, so maybe we'll even get to evaluate them. But as I said, Taylor Henneke will be our starter for this first game against the Steelers. So, I think I'm going to end this episode here. That was just kind of going over uh, what team we built, and uh, I'm really excited for this series. I'm really excited for episode one. Uh, I am going to be playing most likely two games per episode, taking the best clips from those games and using them. So if y'all are down for that, or if you just want to see one game an episode and then I move on, I'll probably do two games an episode for the preseason and then do one game an episode in the regular season was most likely what I'm thinking. One last thing I want to change uh, or let you know is going to change. Lena Collins is back now. As I was saying before my recording cut off, Landon Collins will be our starting strong safety, along with Cameron Curl being our starting free safety when we hit the regular season. Hopefully, we can get Cameron Curl a depth trade. That would be perfect. Uh, also, my starting middle linebacker will be Dylan Moses this year. I don't care what anybody says. Or, honestly... Hmm. What's Cole Holcomb's block shit? 72? It's a power move. Finesse, yeah, that's awful. I can't start him an outside linebacker because we blitzed, clipped. What is his? Yeah. Okay, so we're just keeping these guys here as they are. Uh, probably going to have to trade Cole Holcomb or Anthony Walker Jr. I know I literally just signed Anthony Walker, so it'll probably be Hol Cole Holcomb, uh, most likely. This team isn't bad, to be honest, and I'm excited to use it. 
in the preseason and also in the regular season. But this will probably be the end of this episode right here. So if you did enjoy watching, if you did, uh, if you are excited for the regular season preseason, and if you do want to stick with me throughout this whole series, I suggest you do. Please, uh, that'd be awesome. Hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and uh, it'd be much much appreciated. Also, leave a comment down below one player you think is going to break out in the preseason or one player you want to see start in the preseason because they're like, I want you guys to have control. I want like my viewers to help me figure out who should start where and um, what players are good and what players aren't. So any players like I drafted or players that you like that you think should start or maybe even that I should pick up at a free agency and try out in the preseason, uh, that'd be awesome. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate y'all so much, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get to win a Super Bowl with the Washington football team. Probably not this year, though, with this team. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Threes are great and twos. I'm the man.